It's not easy performing under pressure. Just imagine tens of thousands of fans, cameras, and your professional record on the line. That's what Renat Fakhradinov found out in his debut fight for the UFC. So what big mistakes did he make on his big night? Plus, who did Dana White say could be the next opponent for returning legend John Jones? And what does the UFC boss think about putting Conor McGregor up against Floyd Mayweather again? Stay tuned because all of that plus more MMA news is coming right up. Renat Fakhradinov is known as the gladiator, so you know he's a tough opponent to beat. But it seems that he's even harder on himself than he is on his rivals. Coming into UFC Fight Night 207, he had an impressive 19-2 record. It was his performance in the TV series Dana White looking for a fight that gave him a spot in the UFC after he knocked out his opponent in just 55 seconds. But that was more than a year ago, and Fakhradinov has admitted that in his big debut, his nerves may have gotten the better of him. After the fight, he said, it could be much better, but I was nervous. Nervous. Every fight will be better than this one, but you know I'm ready. And with comments like that, you'd think that he lost the fight, but no, he won it. It went the distance and came down to the judges' decision, but they were unanimous. It was a good chance for the Russian to show off his wrestling and grappling skills, where he dominated almost every round. He is currently number 83 in the welterweight worldwide rankings, but with his UFC career getting off to a good start, it might not be long before he's hunting down the top 20. One fighter that was discovered through Dana White's TV show was Mara Valashvili. The Georgian bantamweight is on a seven-fight win streak and is currently number six in the UFC's official rankings. And it looks like he has his next opponent in his sights. It will be former featherweight champion Jose Aldo and will take place at UFC 278. The Brazilian has won his last three fights and is looking to revive his legendary career. Dana White has guaranteed the audience that UFC 278 will be the greatest sporting event that you have ever seen in your life. Those are some big claims, but it's easy to see how he could be right. The centerpiece of the event will be Kamaru Usman taking on Leon Edwards for the welterweight championship. Usman has a virtually perfect record with only one defeat in his 10 years of professional MMA. In the last few years, he has beaten Colby Covington and Jorge Masvidal twice each, along with Tyron Woodley and Rafael Dos Anjos. His total dominance of the division put him number one on the UFC's pound-for-pound -pound rankings. That's the man that Leon Edwards has to take down if he wants Dean to watch to wrap the welterweight belt around his waist at the end of the night. But don't count Edwards out of contention. The Englishman has a pretty impressive record of his own. He has beaten many of the top fighters in the division and only has one loss to his name. And who was that loss to? Kamara Usman. It was at UFC on Fox 17 and the judges unanimously gave Usman the win. But that was way back in 2015 and Edwards has learned a lot. Both of them are capable of winning the fight but Usman is definitely coming in as the favorite. His takedown power speed, striking ability, and ground game make him one of the most all-round fighters in the UFC. Coming up, who did Dana White say would be John Jones' opponent when he returns? And is Francis Nagano Tyson Fury fight really in the works? So don't go anywhere. Next up, we've got one of the greatest MMA fighters to ever grace the UFC's Octagon. In his prime, he was a dynamic, exciting, and naturally gifted martial artist. We're talking, of course, about Johnny Bones Jones. So what's the latest news about his return? Like him or not, John Jones is one of the best. If we forget about his drug scandal and disastrous personal life, his record speaks for itself. For almost 10 years, he dominated the light heavyweight division, taking care of anyone that Dana White put in front of him. That includes Leota Machida, Rashad Evans, Vitor Belfort, Alexander Gustafsson, and famously Daniel Cormier. These names are all legends in their own right, so Jones has well and truly cemented his name into the UFC history books. And this year, we might find out if he's still got it. His last last fight was more than two years ago to defend his light heavyweight championship title. After that, he vacated the title over a salary dispute with the UFC and decided to move up to heavyweight instead. Lucky for Jones, his legendary status has earned him an immediate shot at the top of the division. Dana White said, John Jones is ready to go. We're just waiting for an opponent. It's either going to be Francis, depending on how long his knee is going to take to recover, or Stipe Miocic. John's first fight in the division and he might be fighting Francis Nagano for the title? Well, at 30 35, Dana knows that his time is limited to match Jones up with strong heavyweights. And since he is on record as considering Jones the best of all time, it's no surprise he's willing to bend the rules. Now, McGregor versus Mayweather. Whether you're a boxing fan or an MMA fan, basically all of us tuned in to watch Conor McGregor face Floyd Mayweather in the so-called money fight. There's no doubt that it was one of the most entertaining crossover fights of all time, and all parties walked away with some serious money. So why has Dana White shot 
down possibilities of a second fight between the two. Right now, Dana's only focus is getting McGregor back in the octagon. The UFC's highest earner hasn't fought since July last year at UFC 264. McGregor vowed his revenge against Dustin Poirier after suffering a nasty leg break in the first round. Since then, there have been rumors floating around about if the Irishman will ever even return to the UFC. And if so, which division will he come back to? Lightweight champion Charles Oliveira called McGregor out after his latest win over Justin Gagey at UFC 274. But news that is exciting some fans is the prospect of McGregor going up against Floyd Mayweather again for a rematch. McGregor went almost 10 rounds against one of the greatest boxers of all time. Even though the notorious McGregor walked away with more than $100 million, many fans view it as the beginning of the end of his MMA career. Since then, he lost to Habib Nurmagomedov and has only won one fight since. And his global stardom has reached levels far higher than the UFC can offer him. But according to Dana White, Connor's main focus is still MMA. On the Jim Rome show, Dana said, Connor gets all kinds of offers for movie roles and all these other things that he could go and do and make money. He doesn't want to do any of that. Connor wants to fight. Next, heavyweight showdown. Who's the toughest heavyweight in the world? That's what Tyson Fury and Francis Ngannou want to find out. After Tyson's latest fight against Dylan White in April earlier this year, UFC fans spotted a familiar face in the ring. It was UFC heavyweight champion Francis Ngannou, and he was there to hype up a possible matchup between himself and the Gypsy King. Since then, Dana White has reminded Ngannou that he's still under contract and said that he's not interested in organizing the MMA boxing super fight. And now Fury has sent a warning to the UFC champ if he is serious about stepping into the ring with him. In a tweet responding to Ngannou calling him out, he said, bring it on, big boy. You wouldn't last a round. But how do the two match up against each other? They are pretty even at around 265 pounds each, but Fury has a big height advantage at 6'9 over Nagano's 6'4 figure. But Dana White is still unconvinced that the crossover would be of any value at all. Earlier this year, he called the idea a waste of time, energy, and money. He also said that Fury would be such a heavy favorite that the outcome would be in no doubt. So is this the end of Nagano's MMA career? Or could we see him return to defend his title? The Cameroon-born fighter is still recovering from an ACL reconstruction surgery and has said that he should be ready to fight by the end of the year or the beginning of 2023. Do you think that Francis Nagano should go up against Tyson Fury or should he stick to MMA? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.